Each of the four Gospels records the events of the triumphal entry into Jerusalem. According to the Synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, the event took place on the 10th day of the month of Abib, the same day when all Jews were choosing their Passover lambs. According to the Law of Moses, the Israelites were to select their lamb on the 10th day of the month, five days before Passover. Once selected, the lamb was then taken into the homes of the families of Israel, where it lived for the next five days. On the 14th day of the month, the family was then to take the lamb to the temple, kill it without breaking any bones, and then take the carcass back to the home for the Passover feast. During the first Passover, when Israel was still in Egypt, the blood of the lamb was then dabbed on the doorposts, protecting their home from the destroying angel. This made for a poignant lesson for the children who, after living with the lamb and becoming fond of it, would see it killed and eaten so that they could be saved. The significance of the timing is that on the very same day that all Jews would be choosing their Passover lambs, Jesus, the true Lamb of God, rides into Jerusalem and is chosen by the people as their Messiah. It is also significant that during the same time period that the Passover lambs were being taken into the Jewish homes for the next five days, Jesus is found teaching in his Father's house, the temple of God. According to the Gospel of John, five days later, at the same time when thousands of Passover lambs were being sacrificed, the true Passover lamb, Jesus Christ, died on the cross. Truly, it was the blood of the Lamb of God that was shed on the cross that protects us from the destroying angel of death and sin. It is because of him that we can live.